Hey there. Today we're going to learn how to cut gains. When boat planks overlap, it's called lap strake. This is a traditional style that began with the Vikings and allows planks to be thinner because of this overlap. Building with lap strake planking is not more or less difficult than smooth planking. It just requires different techniques and different fastening methods. At the ends of the boat, a joint is cut to reconcile the overlap. Call it a rabbit or a gain. It's a way to transition from overlap to smooth planking. Here's what a gain looks like in this shot. It begins 16 inches from the end of the plank and is 3 quarters of an inch wide, which is the amount the planks overlap each other. In this gain, at the end, 1 eighth of an inch of wood is removed from the inside of the gain and 1 eighth of an inch of wood is left on the outside of the gain. This transitions to no wood taken off 16 inches away from the end. Looking into the plank from the end, you can see the finished gain and its shape, which resembles a puzzle piece. So you can see the two gains fit together nicely, tightly, and there's another gain cut on the upper edge of the plank. So our last plank needs to have a gain cut to match tightly into this one. So the gains on all the boats in this shop are 16 inches long from beginning to end. And they taper from nothing here down to an eighth of an inch on the inside and two eighths of an inch on the outside. And looking at the gain from the edge, you can see that where the vertical line is, there's nothing taken off. And it tapers down to the end. You can see it's a nice even taper. So I'm going to cut the gain right here on the end of the plank on the inside lower edge. And I'm going to set up the camera so that you can see how I cut the nice even taper with a plane so everything will work out. To cut the gain, begin by planing square to the plank, one eighth of an inch deep with a rabbit plane, which allows you to plane a rabbit or step into the wood. Once this rabbit is complete, angle the plane away from the inside of the gain and plane until there is one eighth of an inch of wood remaining on the outside of the gain. Okay, so you can see that I've planed it to the line. On the inside here, I'm an eighth of an inch deep, and on the outside, there's an eighth of an inch left. I'm nice and flat in between. And along the entire length of the 16 inch length of the gain, I'm nice and flat. This way I know it'll fit nicely into the next plank. One thing I didn't mention is you want to take a piece of wood and nail it down to serve as a fence. This keeps the plane at the right width and ensures that your gain is nice and even. So the gain is cut and I clamped the plank back on the boat. Now we're going to clamp it up at the stem and see how the gains fit. Looks pretty tight. Um, there's a little gap right here, but I think that will close up with a screw so it looks good. If two matching gains are cut accurately and consistently, they will fit together tightly at the ends of the boat and keep the water out. Even so, it doesn't hurt to add a little bit of boat building caulk or at least a bit of varnish. So now that the gains are cut, sit back and watch as I install the planks. <laughs> 